Doomed ASF asks, how do I create a simple ELO system in Excel? So he has two players, A and B, with an ELO rating of 1500 and 1400 respectively. And so he wants to indicate who won the match and then a new rating for these players is calculated. Now I found this an interesting problem because I'm a chess player myself and the ELO system can be quite unintuitive. So I thought it would be an interesting challenge to create an ELO system in Excel. Do know that the ELO system is not only limited to chess, there are many other sports and games that use this system to evaluate the strength of a player. Also know that even within chess there are different ELO systems, so this is just one example uh, to demonstrate how one could create an ELO system. So let's get started first by inputting the strength of our current players. So player A has 1500 ELO and player B has 1400 ELO. In cell C, we will indicate the outcome of the match. So a one would mean player A wins and player B loses. A zero would mean player B wins and player A loses. And 0 0.5 would mean there's a draw. So as an example, I will input a one. Then in cell D, we will actually calculate the expected outcome of this match. Now, in order to do this, we first must take the difference between these two ratings. So to do this, we subtract the rating from player A from player B's rating. So we do player B's rating minus player A's rating. So there's a hundred difference between these two players. Next up, we divide this number by 400. Now this number is chosen arbitrarily. So somebody just came up with the number 400 and ever since it has been used. Now, what is the meaning behind this number 400? It means that if there's a rating difference between two players, the stronger player is 10 times more likely to win the match. So the ELO rating is really a measure to show how likely somebody is going to win. And the unique uh, property of an ELO system is that you gain more ELO rating points if you win against a stronger player, and you also lose less ELO rating points if you lose against a stronger player. So it's actually worthwhile to combat stronger players because those will get you more ELO ratings if you actually are able to win. So next up, we find the value of 10 to the power of this fraction, and we will be adding one to this. Okay. So this 10 comes from the rationale that we are 10 times more likely to win if we have 400 rating points above our opponent. So we take 10 to the power and then in between brackets, I put this fraction and I add one at the end. Okay, so now we will be calculating the expected score. And so we do this by taking the multiplicative inverse. So basically we take one and we divide it by this number. So we take one divided by, in between brackets, this entire number. And so we come at 0 0.64. So what this means is that the expected chance of A winning is 64%. So in 64% of cases, we expect player A to win. So now we will use this expected score to calculate the change in rating. Now for this, we need to determine a K factor. And this K factor will determine how fast a rating changes after somebody has won a match. Now at chess, this is variable. So newer players get a higher K rating, usually around 40. This is because younger players usually improve faster than older players. And so they use a higher K factor to show this. Now, if you're already a very experienced or even a grandmaster chess player, the K factor might only be 10. Now in our example, we will use 20 as the K factor. So how to calculate the change in ELO rating? We take 20 and we multiply 20 by the actual result. So in this case, one being A1 minus the expected result that we calculated earlier. We close the parentheses and press enter. And what we're seeing is 7.2. So this is the rating that player A would gain if he won this match. And it is also the rating that player B will lose if he loses the match. Now, if we change this match so that player B wins and player A loses, so then we put a zero here, then you can see player A will actually lose 12.8 points. So player A will lose more points if he loses than player B will lose if he loses. And that's logical because we are expecting player A to win because he should be the stronger player. So there's more on the line for him there. So player A can lose more points and win less points, whereas point player B 
can win more points and lose less points. But that's the intended system of an ELO system. So we take the existing rating of player A and we add to this the rating change. For player B, we do the inverse. So we take his existing rating and we subtract the difference in rating. As such, we've calculated the new ratings. So if we change it, so where player A wins again, you can see player A will be the one gaining points and player B will be the one losing points. Now, if there was to be a draw, so that would be 0 0.5, you can see player A will actually still lose points because he was the one expected to win. So even a draw will still lose player A some points. Now to make this a little bit more neat, we can actually condense these functions and put them inside of each other. So first we will get rid of this expected result. So we simply copy this in its entirety. And then I change this function here where we replace D1 with whatever we just copied. And so I will also put brackets around this. And so this will still give us exactly the same thing. The only thing we did was we had formulas and two cells. Now we've just merged them. And now we can do the same thing. So I copy this in its entirety. And now I replace cell E1 with this. And once again, I will put it in between brackets like this. And I copy this. And I also replace E1 in the score of player B. And now I can simply remove cell E1. And now I will place these right next to D and F. Now, one way we could improve this is instead of in cell C1 having to type the score like one or zero, actually be able to select the name of the player and then automatically it shows us how the rating will change. Now for this, we will create a new list and this is a list containing the names of the players. And so instead of in cell C inputting a number, we will be inputting A or B. And we can do this through data validation. So in the ribbon, we go to data, and then to the right, we go to data validation, data validation. And here we will be selecting allow. Right now it says any value, but we will be saying a list. We make sure to check here in cell dropdown. So this will give us a dropdown menu from which we can select all of the options. Now we provide the source of this list. So those are the two names of the players being A and B. And I click on OK. Notice that the cell now has this dropdown icon next to it and we can select A or B. Of course, we will have to alter our formulas so they can work with these A or B results. So let's take a look at the formula. So we are referencing the cell C1 once over here, and all we have to do is replace this with an if function. So if cell C1 is equal to A, or actually we could reference this cell here where the player of A is mentioned, then this will be a one, otherwise it will be a zero. Now, in this example, we assume that the draw is not possible, but that's also something you could program. Now we press on enter. And so we will do the same thing for the value in column E. So I copy this if statement. And I will also place it here where we are referencing cell C1. Okay, just like that. So now we can simply select a winner of the match and we can immediately see how the rating will actually change.